Hello and welcome to YouTube News for June 10th, 2015. I'm your host Alex and I'll be walking you through some of the most important and interesting topics revolving around the YouTube platform. First up, in an effort to better compete with Twitch.tv, YouTube has enabled 48 and 60 frame per second live streaming for its creators. So gamers on YouTube, rejoice as your fans can finally view your game stream at a good playback FPS. YouTube also noted that it also has the ability to scale down streams to 30 FPS for devices that can't yet view high frame rates and that they're working on expanding support in the coming weeks. Next up, YouTube also has introduced a shoppable ad format enabled for TrueView called TrueView Shopping. These ads are built off of the card style annotations that have recently been implemented into YouTube videos so that they're meant to be embedded and clickable whenever an ad video for a product is playing. Having additional information laid out on top of the pre-roll ad could be quite helpful for pushing a new product so we'll see how well this ad format performs over the next few months. And last up, according to a Bank of America analyst, YouTube is valued at $70 billion. The analyst and his team state that the site will earn $8.2 billion in revenue in 2015 and will reach $13 billion in revenue by 2017, effectively doubling its revenue between 2014 and 2017. And that $70 billion is close to one-fifth of the $370 billion that Google is worth. Pretty crazy to think Google only paid $1.6 billion to acquire YouTube back in 2006. I'd say that they made pretty well off, but what do you guys think? Anyways, that's it for me this week, guys. Tune in again next Wednesday for the latest in YouTube news. Thanks for watching. YouTube Spaces gets superpowers with help from Stan Lee, Google says 91% of its YouTube ads are viewable, and videos appear for 55% of Google keyword searches. Your secrets, if you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays, kids more worried about.